Welcome back. I'm joined today by three experts to discuss the issues of the day that are of interest to me. My first guest is the owner and operator of a down market haunted house in Columbus, Ohio. Please welcome Harvey Napier. Thank Hello. you so much for having me. Halloween Spooktacular on Route 9. Uh, come on out. The fire, the fire marshal is temporarily off my back, so we're going to sneak as many people through as we can before he comes back through and uh, everybody has a real good time. What is the scariest room in your down market haunted house? Uh, the room, the asbestos room that he's got to be in his bonnet about. There's no, there's no sprinklers. Uh -huh. uh, there's one egress that has like a zombie hillbilly uh -huh. uh, who's very asthmatic. Terry has a lot of, uh, and he'll, he'll have like a waking sleep apnea sometimes. Uh -huh. So it's not a great situation. And that's that's where the, you're gonna feel the most physical danger. And he's in the asbestos room. Yeah, yeah. So that's not great for him. No, it's not great for him. Yeah, we pay him. Pay. And plus, we do pizza every night, so he he's fine. Okay. So My next guest is the owner of the Mattress Emporium in Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome Tom McNamara, aka the Mattress King of Wichita. Oh, thanks for having me. And if I got a deal for you after we're done talking, come on down to the Emporium in Wichita. In Wichita. Get a good deal on a mattress. I'll set you up with my own stiffy. A sti what's a stiffy? The stiffy is my patented blend of hard and soft fibers. It's the perfect amount of stiff to oh, get a good rest on. All right. And my last guest spends his days scrubbing floors in zero G and taking out the trash at warp speed. Please welcome Dash Galaxy, a space janitor. No, no. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry, Brian. I can't do it. Can't, I what? can't. I'm, it's me, Anthony Atamanek. I can't do Dash. Why? I can't even actually say the name. I've already. What do you mean you can't do Dash? Get well, I'm federally uh, funded. What? Yeah, I'm. You're federally funded. So I'm part of the shutdown right now. So I'm actually. It's I. It's against the law for me to even perform the character. <sighs> okay. Uh, all right. Whatever. Okay. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so let's talk about the news this week. In California, they made uh, revenge porn illegal. You can no longer post pictures of your ex-girlfriend online and, and not be punished for it. Uh, so, Harvey, what do you think about that? How, how in the future are you going to get back at an X? Well, I'm glad you're asking me that today, Brian, because hopefully I'm not going to have to. I, obviously, like you, I've made, you know, 30 or 40 grand off of revenge porn, and it's been great. Wow. So it serves an emotional purpose and, uh, you know, lines the, the, the pocket a little bit. But if I push came to shove, I would just invite her down to show her and be like, oh, this is my place, this, this is my small business, I want to show you, I want you to meet the gang, uh -huh. uh, and then just burn it to the ground. No, so you, you... Route 9, spooktacular. Don't, uh, there's no, with no immediate plan to set it on fire. So you, you'll be fine in there. How much are tickets? Uh, tickets are sixteen sixty five for kids. Why sixteen sixty five? Why? That's the year that my forefathers came to this country and yeah. built the first haunted house. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It was just mainly about uh, women and non-whites. Oh. <sighs> All right, Tom. Well, I think I found a loophole. Uh, technically, they're not exes, right? <laughs> if you just uh, have your way with them for one night, that's okay, huh? So you one night stand revenge. Oh yeah, not for years for my commercials. My my whole plan in in Wichita was to get sexy local girls huh. on the mattresses, and then you know they talk about oh this is my stiffy, and uh, afterwards we keep the cameras rolling a little bit. I come in, you know, I use my celebrity and. Uh, have a little uh, fun under the sun, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So you uh, seduce people. That's on what that. I call a pillow top, <laughs> right? Wow. And uh, so I was thinking, you know, a little more edgy. I'd get that stuff out there, but technically, I never entered into a relationship with any of them. So interesting. We're just fine. Uh, Dash. No. Oh God. Um, if I had uh, nude pictures of my girlfriend, I would uh, sell them to the highest bidder. Okay. Uh, and hopefully maybe sell her into uh, Saudi sex slavery. <laughs> I'll bid on that. Yeah, because wow. there's a lot of good... And I'm serious, if I could do that to someone I loved, I would. You would? Yeah, absolutely. Because you can always find another person. People are just flesh bags with no real, you know... Who's saying this, Dash Galaxy or Anthony? No, this is me, Anthony Atamini. You're just saying people are flesh bags? Yeah. You'd be great in a spooktacular. If you need to pick up a spare change, you can come just explain that to people. I'd love it more if there were some teens there. I've been telling everybody that people are flesh bags for years. That's why you need a nice, firm, supportive surface to sure. sleep on. Because of the shutdown, there's no Under the Table sponsor this week, but there are plenty of opportunities available in upcoming episodes. So if you have a few hundred bucks and would like to be an Under the Table sponsor, 
Email us at sponsorthebsofa at theblaze.com. And since we normally plug something here, we're plugging our hilarious book, The United States versus Santa Claus, which comes out a month from today. You can pre-order your copy at amazon.com right now. We'll be right back. So you're gonna, is this gonna last through the whole show? You're, you're yeah. Anthony, you're not dead. Yeah. Do you know what's, I mean, do you follow current events? Back to you. Okay, thank you, Anthony. You're welcome. Uh, you're Dash. Yeah. I'm okay, Harvey, Tom, and Dash. Hey. Let's talk about this week, this huge launch on the internet, the servers not working, people not being able to access Grand Theft Auto Online. <laughs> Terrible. Um, uh, Harvey? Yeah. <clears throat> what's your favorite thing to do on Grand Theft Auto Online? Well, I'm always looking for new ways to scare kids, so Grand Theft Auto Online is a great sort of test bed. What I do is I get online, I get with some kids, and I'm like, hey, let's do some crimes. Mm -hmm. And then and while we're robbing things, I just start telling them, like, look, your, your education, you're getting a substandard education. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the globe is in a knowledge economy now, and America does not compete in that way. We're, you know, we're an industrial manufacturing power. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your parents act as authority figures when they really don't know anything more about living life than you do. And in fact, they're increasingly panicked about their own mortality. And then, you know, the, you're going to live your life as America spirals down from being, number one, to being like a, an upper third kind of country where people live uh, uh, increasingly desperate lives. Do you find yourself invited to be in a lot of crews? Usually I just get punched to death. Okay. But, uh, I, that's not, that's so, not a bad sign. Tom, what yeah. about you? What's your favorite thing to do on Grand Theft Auto Online? Well, more than saving money, what I really like to do online is uh, collect all the bodies, uh, dead bodies, and uh, got a big pile of dead bodies, and then I'll just curl up on top of that. That's the perfect sleep you want. That's the right amount of stiffness and give. Dead bodies. Yep, big pile of dead bodies. Wow. Uh, Dash. Uh, Brian, it's what? Anthony. So. It's, it's supposed to, I mean, okay, da okay, Anthony. But I can tell you, I love, I, wait. Oh. What? What was the question, Brian? It's me, Dash, Space Janitor. Now, at the end of the show. Yeah, the, the shutdown's over, so. That's great. Your timing's excellent. Well, let me tell you, I don't play Grand Theft Auto, but I play Grand Theft Spaceship. And That's... when I'm on it, I clean the decks. That's great. I wish you could have done this earlier in the show. All right, that's all the time we have for this week's BS of A. Join us next week for a brand new episode. Like us on Facebook, love us on Twitter, spread the word on YouTube. And if you're in Florida or Ohio, come see us, Jeffy and Stu Burberry, in our live comedy stage show, Laughing at Glenn Beck. Tickets are all on sale now at theblaze.com slash comedy. Thank you, and good night, America. So you, you could have done this maybe, you know, the last hour. Instead of garbage cans, we just have tiny wormholes where you put your refuse. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's, that's, that's funny. I wish I wish good care had more of that. I uh, cleaned up a spill on the moon. Uh -huh. <laughs> How did it spill? <laughs> How did it spill? Slowly. <laughs> Sights down. <laughs>